Hey everybody, it's Scott from Filmora FX, and I had a subscriber ask me if I could figure out how to make a ghost figure walk through a door without the use of green screens. I think I've recreated what they wanted pretty close, and I just wanted to show everyone how I did it. And we're going to do this a little different than my normal tutorial. Usually I don't show you this part, and I just show you from scratch. But this time I want to show you how I actually did it. So just ignore... Um, that little intro thing, we'll just remove that. So here we go. First I'm just going to turn off a couple tracks that we don't need right now. And we'll just look at the two main tracks here. Alright, so ignoring the special effects, what I did is I started with, in fact we'll go ahead and turn the girl off for a second too, what I started with was the door. So I got this image from Filmora 11 Stock Media Pixabay photos and I just did a search for door and um, I've already have it in my downloads here and there it is so I picked this door and I also picked this figure which is really more of an animation but the way I did it uh, you can't tell that it's an animation because I I lowered the opacity and also use old video uh, effect to basically make it black and white so we've got our two images and so what I need to do, I wish I could show you my hands right now to demonstrate this. In order to make things look like they're moving when they're not moving, you have to mess with the scale. So I started off with the door, and this is why I wanted to show you in this manner, because if you click these little keyframe dots, it brings you up to what you did. So I wanted to show you this. And oh, by the way, the new version of Filmora 11, the update we got about two days ago, uh, removed the slider for scale. You used to be able to scale with a slider like this. Now you can link and unlink X and Y. So if you just put your mouse here and scale around, they'll be the same, or you can scale in one direction like that. It works the same way with your mouse right here. So you can see what I did. I scaled it up. I scaled the door up. Why did I scale the door up? Because my keyframe see what's happening my keyframing scales the door down all the way down to 120 so that gives the illusion that the door is going backwards but that we don't want that we don't want the door to look like it's going backwards so in order to counteract the door going backwards I did the opposite effect on the girl so the girl Let's bring up the... So on the girl, we started scaling her way back and lowered the opacity all the way down to around 20%. And as I pull the slider, you watch the scale and watch the opacity. I keyframed both of them. And out of the corner of your eye, kind of look over on the screen there, and you can see everything that's happening. So the door's running backwards, but the girl is moving forward. In reality, the door is scaling down and the girl is scaling up in reality, giving the illusion that the girl is walking through the door. And I slowly increased the opacity just to about 60% there to leave the illusion that she's actually a ghost uh, because that's the real image. That's um, like a computer-generated image of a girl. Uh, that's not what we wanted. We want a ghost figure somewhere in there. Okay, and that's how I did it. Then, to give this whole thing a better effect, uh, we'll start with the, uh, the smoke. I added smoke. What I'm going to do is we're going to just uh, turn these tracks off so you can see the smoke. And there it is. Now, this smoke effect uh, is from the standard pack of film, film stocks, uh, and it's called Element Smoke Fog 1, so it's really a fog. Uh, and it worked very well for what I wanted. I'm going to turn that one off for a second. And, and then I used an effect called Old Video. And I'll show you that with everything else turned on with the fog off. So here it is off. And here it is on. And what that did is put some graininess in it, a little bit of flashing. 
uh, and made it look like a, like a 1940s or 50s video, which is what I was actually trying to recreate. And then, to finish the whole thing, I took some ghost sounds, and I used a tension sound effect underneath of the ghost sound to give the entire effect. Like so. And that's it. I know this is a short video, but I get asked a lot, um, how do you do this? How do you do that? And this may actually answer a lot of other questions on something you're trying to do other than a, a ghost through a door. Uh, key framing is an absolute amazing feature of Filmora, uh, particularly for Filmora 11. It's got some new features in it. Um, you can also keyframe masks now, which is really cool. I tried to do this with a mask. Uh, it didn't come out the way I wanted it to. This is a much cleaner, simpler way to do it. And to my subscriber who was asking for this, I hope I got pretty close to what you were looking for. And you can recreate it with your own images and, and refine it. And um, hopefully you'll have some success with it. And that's it, guys. I want to thank everybody for watching. Make sure you hit that bell for notifications. Please subscribe to the channel. Click the like button. And leave me some comments. See y'all soon on the next video.